you to the next episode of Decans with D. I am Dietmar Ostermann, your host today, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Today we have no wine set up here. That can only mean one thing, and that is, by popular demand, we're gonna do another tour of my wine room. Follow me along. cellar first thing you notice I have a new door I used to have a different door here we put a glass door in recently so that you can actually look from the dining room all times into my wine cellar the other thing that's new is I got an old barn hatch down here and down here I have more storage for uh, you know cool by the case wines but I like this uh, pretty old refurbished barn wood that is a nice accent to the actual uh, brick, red brick stone of the wine cellar. All right, this wine cellar is about six, seven feet long, maybe five, six feet wide, and it's very tall. It actually goes up 17 feet into the air. That's why we have a ladder here, and above that wine cellar is my office, and there's a window where I can look down from the office into the wine room. So I want you to uh, first look at this uh, display shelf. You all know that I'm a big fan of California, Napa Valley, especially Cabernets. So here I have uh, Joseph Phelps. And then underneath the display shelves, typically we have more of the same wine or sometimes some different uh, vintage years. Barnett Vineyards, a new discovery of mine. Big fan of the uh, Barnett. I drank the 2013, it was excellent. This is the 2016, it's supposed to be excellent as well. Over here, I watched one of the videos from uh, James Suckling talking about the Chilean uh, wines and the Cabernets. So I got the three wines that are Chilean Cabernets that were all scored 100. And they're sitting all in here. Typically they are joint ventures with some foreign producer. Uh, this one here is a joint venture together with Mondavi. And uh, this one is the Close uh, Apalta. Moving along, the Spring Mountain you find here. Alpha Omega, another one of my favorite discoveries. This is a 2013, drinks beautiful now. But I also have the newer ones. And then here towards the end we have the Camus. Multiple different years and goes all the way down. This is the Camus uh, 40 anniversary, uh, the uh, 2012, one of my all time favorites of the Camus. Now further down, I have these uh, volume uh, storage units. This one here is full of shut enough to pop. I have um, a number of more Brunello de Montalcinos. This is the Capazzo 2015, a great, great, highly recommended, very affordable 2015 Bonellos. This whole entire unit is full of 2015 Bonellos. And then here I have uh, French um, bottles. These are less valuable than the ones that I have in my storage unit in the kitchen. So this is, uh, for instance, a highly rated Medac. Uh, but it's not one of the uh, first uh, five growth. All right, switching sides on you. Again, on the other side, we have display shelves. Over here, for instance, again, we are coming back. All the display shelves are Napa Valley Cabernets. This one is the 2016 Duck Horn. 
Over here we have the Nickel and Nickel State Ranch, a favorite, another favorite of mine. Over here the uh, Stack Sleep Wine Cellars SLV. Here uh, one of the top wines of 2019, the uh, Maya Camus, one of the mountain vineyards in Napa 2015, highly rated 95 or 96 points in the Spectator. And then over here a few more. For instance, here the Groth Reserve, here the Reserve 2014. I also have a few of the 2016s. And uh, all time favorite here is the Arkenstone. Arkenstone is a small little vineyard in Napa that I discovered recently. Over here in the upper shelves, we have more Cabernets, big bottle storage over here. These are three deep. For instance, this is the Pio Cesare, 2014 Barolo. Excellent year, but needs to stay in the cellar for another three to five years. Or over here, Shut Enough to Pop, the View Telegraph, one of my all time favorites. That one, the 2015, could be drunken right now at a big uh, holiday party. Going over here, these are all Chianti's. Above that are the Brunellos. Whole range here is all Brunellos. Above that we have the Barolos. And then further up are younger vintages. Uh, those shelves they are full of uh, Barbera di Asti, Barbera di Alba. And then all the way to the top you have the 2017 Cabernet Sauvignon that I'm going to store there for a little bit longer. That is the revised show of my 1200 bottle wine room. I hope you like it. And if you like this show, please like it and subscribe it and follow me on Vivino. See you next time. Always Sunday. Cheers.